Hey third graders, now that you are done with your book, whether it's Runaway Ralph, Clementine, or Stink, we're going to do the fun part. Hopefully you've answered all of your questions, and if you haven't, make sure that you do that. That's going to be part of the grade. But in your packet, we have um, in your manila envelope packet, you'll find this, and it's cereal box book report. And there's actually inside, there's a lot of different kinds of book reports that you could do. Well, I've chosen two that will work for your story this time, and you get to pick which one you want to do. So the first one you can pick, it's called the cereal box book report. And this is the cover, kind of tells you which one it is. There's some notes for a teacher, you don't have to read that. And then here it is, and this is your directions right here. And it says your assignment is to design a cereal related to a fictional book. You will also decorate a real cereal box with illustrations, text, and even a prize inside. You can also draw a picture of the prize. So right here it tells you everything that you have to do on your cereal box. So the front of your cereal box will include the name of the cereal and a picture. Insert a name for the cereal that is related to the book. Yet yeah, sounds like a cereal. Do not use the exact title of the book. Choose a shape for the cereal as well as colors and ingredients that relate to the book. On the right side, you have to make a list of the ingredients that includes the story elements, main, um, main characters, and setting. Okay, we've talked a lot about that. I know you know that. Under the heading ingredients, list the main characters and the setting and write at least one sentence about each. Easy. On the left side, write a one paragraph summary that describes the main problem and the solution of the book. Try to use the words that will grab the reader's attention. Make it interesting. I've said that before to you. Make it interesting, make your reader want to continue to read. And then the back of the box, you get to design a game. That sounds fun. It can be a puzzle, a word search, a word scramble, a maze, a crossword puzzle, a hidden picture illustration, or any other fun activity. Make sure that includes information from the book. Top of box. Include the title, author, number of pages, and the number of stars you would give the book if you were a book critic. Okay, the maximum number of stars you can get. And then the prize. Your prize must be something the main character could have used in the book or something that reminds you of the main character. You must include a picture of the prize on the front of the box. You may actually put the prize in the box. Now, don't worry, you get to keep the box. So you get to keep your prize too. And of course, proofread, avoid errors in grammar, make sure you have capitals, make sure it's written neatly, put some effort and some work. Effort, I say that word all the time, right? Okay, I lost my cereal box. Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take a cereal box and I'm going to take out the cereal. Okay, you have two choices. You can wrap this up in white paper, and you can do that with just any ordinary paper. Hey, Sally. You can use any kind of paper, just turn the, the pretty part or the, the pattern on the inside. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to very carefully tear this box apart. And try not to rip it. There it's apart. I'm going to flip it on the outside. I'm going to fold it up. And when I'm all done with my coloring and my words and all of my tasks, I'm going to tape it back up with just some regular scotch tape. So I'm going to use a regular cereal box. I'm just going to flip it inside out. Now, some of you, I know might not have a cereal box at your home. You could use a, a macaroni and cheese box or a cake mix box. Whatever kind of box you have at home will be just fine. Okay, the second kind of book report you can pick, even though there's a lot of them in here, I marked with a, you can pick, it's called a brochure book report. And in this one, it's you're gonna write a, or create a brochure. I have two brochures here that I picked up just in Watertown. This one's for the Millette House. Notice how there's a picture on the front, and inside it tells you 
all about the Millette House. There's also one from the zoo. And it gives you information about the zoo. This one has a map. And this one's a little bit bigger. Yours is going to be this size. So you can go to the book report. And you can say, write a... And your first one is about the main characters. And it tells you everything that you have to do right up here. Now, if you want to use this template, it's right here in the book. You can certainly use that. Or you can grab your own piece of white paper and make your own. That's fine, too. It says, write a sentence describing each of the three to four main characters. Then draw a picture of your favorite. Your second task is, how does this story remind you of your own life? At the bottom, fill out the information about your book. It's all right here. And then, let's see, fill the middle with a colorful illustration that represents your book. Right here. And then on the back side, because these are filled both front and back, there's the next section. And right up here, it tells you everything you have to do. So on this one, you're going to do the setting. Describe the book's main setting and then draw a picture. Use four adjectives to describe the book, then write a concise summary that fits the space. So a short summary and four adjectives. Remember, adjectives are words that describe nouns. So when we put the word car on the board and we came up with words like rusty, new, fast, speedy, all of those are adjectives that describe the car and you have to come up with four adjectives that describe your book. And then the last one, it's you're going to write about your opinion and tell me how many stars you would give this, this um, book that you read. We'll talk about the rubric later, but right now what you need to do is you just need to choose one of, one of these. Maybe you want to do a cereal box, maybe you want to do the brochure, either way it doesn't matter. I'm going to do my own, so I'll share those with you as far as I've gotten tomorrow. I'm not going to get it all done tomorrow, but um, I'm going to do it with you so you can see my example. All right, kids, good luck. This is all you're going to do today. And then, of course, I'm going to tell you to read a book. Pick something off your shelf or an epic that you'd like to read and um, go from there. Okay, kids, see you later.